everyone. So last week I made this orchid centerpiece at the Chicago Botanic Garden and it's really inspired me now to make a centerpiece of my own. I am not an expert at this. In fact, this is my first time kind of really doing something like this on my own. I mean, I've planted plenty of containers outside, but kind of creating something that looks pretty for the inside and mixing a bunch of plants together in a pot for indoors isn't something that I do that often. So I figured it would be fun today to kind of put a little spring centerpiece together. Um, so the orchid one, we're gonna move over to the side. And then this is the container that I'm gonna plant in today. Now this I've had, maybe I think I just got this last year. It's obviously quite weathered because it was outside. I think I will plan to move this outside again during the garden season. So. Everything that I'm planting today, I'll probably leave it in here for the next couple months. And then some of the plants can be moved outside. Some of the plants I'll probably repot into their own pots as house plants just to keep them in here. But I'll kind of see how it goes. But I do know that they're not going to live in here forever. Just going to live in here for a couple months. So now let me show you what I got. So I think you can see the color scheme that I'm going with, which is pink. I didn't mean for this to happen, but I feel like no matter what kind of color scheme I try to do, it always ends up going more towards pink, but that's fine with me because that is my favorite color. Now, I didn't do a very good job planning this container. Um, in fact, I don't even know if all of these plants necessarily have the same water requirements or like to be planted together with other plants but again since it's just going to be temporary i don't think that's going to be a huge issue i do know i'm assuming that they all like the same amount of light because i got all of these from the same room with inside the nursery so i got these from chalet nursery which is in wilmette illinois which is a suburb of chicago anytime we go and visit our friends in the suburbs i always have to stop by whichever garden center is closest to them. And we go to Chalet quite a bit. It's probably the garden center outside of Chicago that we visit the most often. Um, so I picked up all these plants, again, from the same green room. So they were all right next to each other, getting the same amount of light. I'll go through each of them. I will read the tags now and see what it says about watering. And then we'll go ahead and get these planted. Now I did decide kind of using the same strategy that we did for the orchid center piece where I picked like the taller ones that are gonna be kind of the main star of the centerpiece, but the ones that were surrounding it, I found that I liked to use at least two of the same plants so that there's some consistency of the plants throughout instead of just getting, you know, one of each type of variety. That's what I found myself gravitating toward with the orchids. So that's exactly what I did this time. So the ones that I got, let me scooch these over. The two plants that I got to be kind of the star of the show, even though all of these are beautiful, uh, was this begonia here. And the tag says begonia Rieger, R-I-E-G-E-R. R -I -E -G -E -R. Let's read the back of it. Now I've grown begonias outside for multiple years now. Um, typically I have these in the pots on our front stairs because that is a part shade yeah, it's probably a part shade area, not full shade, because it does get some afternoon sun, but maybe only like four hours total. So these have always worked really well out there. So I think it should work well as like a centerpiece inside in this pretty sunny area of the room. So this says, for care, medium light, keep moderately moist, room temperature. So that should be easy enough to do. Um, on the tag here, just says Begonia Rieger, again, pink four and a half size pot. And then the other one that's kind of gonna be the star of the show here is the cyclamen. It just says again, cyclamen pink. I don't think I see a tag anywhere in here, although I do see some leaves that I need to clean up. Um, this is also in a four and a half size pot. So I think those will work really well together. And I got these two because one, I love the leaves, but there is a bit of a difference between the leaves. So. This one's a bit of a deeper green, this one's a brighter green, and these also have kind of like that silvery veining on them. And then the pinks are also different. Like they're both pink, but this one's definitely more of an orangey pink. Um, this one's more of a fuchsia color. So I think those will work really nicely. So those over here. I also don't know if I got too many or too few plants, but we'll see. Probably didn't get too few because they'll grow 
might have gotten too many. Um, but continuing with the pink theme, I got some of, I think just two of the polka dot plants. These have grown before. I think it was before we moved here. And I have no idea what happened to it. I don't know if I put it outside or inside, so I'm not really sure. Um, but these are each in a three and a half inch pot. It just says polka, polka dot plant pot, polka dot plant, three and a half inch pot pink. So the, other than like the name of the variety, they all just say pink as far as the specifics. But let's see if the tags is anything different. Um, just polka dot, medium light, so that's good. Same as the begonia not direct light, water moder moderately, keeping soil moist, avoid drying out, mist leaves for extra humidity, and fertilize once a month. For decoration only, do not consume. So for these, it seems like the moisture levels, light levels seem to be similar to the begonia. Again, the cyclamen didn't have a tag on it, so I'll probably look that up in a little bit. Um, but these are definitely gonna be kind of around the outside, adding some accent, again, pink and green. Then I have two ivy plants. So two English ivy, English ivy variegated, four inch pots. Although it looks like they're also three and a half inch pots technically. Um, so the back says place in light shaded to bright environment. So light shade to bright seems also like moderate light. Um, avoid direct sunlight, water thoroughly, discard excess water, do not allow to dry out. Seems pretty good. These are winter hardy. I do grow some of these in the pots out front. And I think the ones out there still look relatively green and similar to this like they're not completely dead they tend to come back in that pot year after year um so these i think once this pot is ready to be like changed out or I'm ready to take this outside i mean maybe i will leave it all together i don't know we'll see um but i definitely want to have some ideas house plants in here trailing down bookshelves because i think that's a really pretty look so two english ivy and then last i got this little Bromeliad, I think is how you pronounce it, Earth Star Pink. So all these basically say pink on them. I have never grown, I don't think, Bromeliad before. Um, so I'm excited about this. I thought this would just be a cute little accent kind of poking out one side. Now this table that I'm gonna put it on, the table that we're working on right now is where the centerpiece is going to go. So technically you can see all sides of it, but the side that would be facing me faces the middle of the room. So that is where I would kind of tuck this in and have it facing that direction. Obviously I'm putting it in, in a container so I can move the container around to whichever side I want to look at. But yeah, I just thought this would be really cute. It is a little spiky, not terrible. I'm wondering if I want to put on gloves to actually pop this up, but we will see. So I think now it's time to go ahead and start potting. Now I know some people like to like kind of place these in, see how they look, take them out. I'm kind of just a plant as I go person. Sometimes that works out, sometimes it doesn't. Um, but I think that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna put some soil in here and then just kind of start with the main parts of the centerpiece and then add and tuck in where it seems like it'll work. And hopefully I'll end up with something I like. It's not like you can't just remove the plants and replant them if you don't like how it looks on the first time. So let's go ahead and add some soil and we'll go ahead and start planting. I just got this potting soil while we were at Chalet as well. That's kind of something I do in the winter is every time I go to a garden center or nursery, I'll just grab a few bags because I know that I'll need it either for things like this or I still need to repot some of my house plants kind of before we get into the swing of things in the garden. So, oh, let me also, See if I remember to show you how I'm kind of storing my soil indoors to make it look a little bit prettier. Um, but let's go ahead and add some soil in and then we will start planting. So I've just filled this up a little bit with soil because the pot is too deep if I was just to put the plants in there and that'll help hold them in place. So I'm going to start with the begonia. And because I'm doing two as kind of the main centerpiece, this is not going to go directly in the center. I think I'm going to do something like that. So let's go ahead and place you right there. And I'm going to try to tilt it a little bit so that it's growing slightly at an angle instead of straight up. I mean, it'll probably adjust on its own, but for now, slightly at an angle. Then I will go ahead and add in the cyclamen which again, I just love these little leaves. 
and then took this in right there. I'm already getting excited, although I think I need to bury it a little bit deeper down. There we go. So the side you're looking at is going to be the front. Um, so I might like to kind of spin this around as I'm working, but I'm already really liking that. Okay, so we have those two. So I'm gonna spin this towards me to do the front so I can see it and then I will spin it back. So I think because these two are so similar in tones, like the pink is a very similar tone, the green is a very similar tone, I don't know if I like them directly next to each other. I think in the front, it might be nice to have that green kind of separate those a little bit. So I think that's what I'm gonna go for. So like that, kind of trailing. Again, this I'm planting at an angle so that it kind of trails over the pot. We're just gonna go in with my hands, see how pokey this is. So I don't feel like grabbing my gloves. Probably should have grabbed my gloves. Not too bad. Uh, I'll go ahead and I think just tuck that in right there. I think that's really cute. I know you can't see it right now. I'll turn around in just a second. I officially have dirt everywhere, but that's what the front is looking like right now. Now I'm gonna add in the last ivy and polka dot plant in the back. I do kind of wish I had one more of the bromeliad, but I don't. So we're gonna make do with what we have. Actually, I don't know, part of me likes the idea of exact symmetry and some of me likes it a little bit off. So we'll work with what we have though. Everything is now planted. So what I'm gonna do is just add in more soil where there are some gaps and then we'll water it in and then we'll take a look at the finished results. There are some empty spaces where I wish I could stuff plants into, but again, I have to remember these will grow. So I'll add in some additional soil right now. I think we're all good on soil level in here, so we'll give this a drink of water, and then if any gaps open up, then I will fill those in with additional soil. Soil level actually still looks good, so now I'm going to do a quick little cleanup. Now I don't want any soil to go to waste, so I'm just going to put it back in the bag. I do need a really small desk, brooms or like handheld little brooms. I think that would be helpful. So here is the final result and I will take you in close a little bit just to show you a little bit more in detail because I know the camera's been a bit further away but I love how this turned out. I really like the combination of the textures and the colors, different greens, different pinks. I just think it all goes really well together and I'm excited to have this kind of the, as the first thing I see when I walk into this room. Uh, let me go ahead and I will take you up a little bit closer so you can see all of the plants. Here is the close up. So we have the ivy down here. I really love that little pop with the bromeliad. I think that's just the cutest little plant. I do wish I had one more. And then that's what it looks like overall. So this is the front. The front is always, I feel like, the side that you like the best. Now let me show you the back and where I think I could have added a couple more plants. So now on the back side, you see I think I could have tucked one just right in there of the bromeliad. Um, I also think, now again, I know I have to keep telling myself they're going to grow, um, but I think I could have tucked something there right underneath the begonia. But I just, I really love the combination of plants. I really love everything about how this turned out. So I think this was a really fun project. I definitely got a little bit of a confidence boost from the Orchid Centerpiece class to trust myself to put something together that looks nice. And like I said, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Now, I wish I could have like the final shot in this room of how it's going to look, but this is obviously the room that we are currently in the process of redoing. I still have the paint swatches there on the wall. Hopefully we'll have this painted in the next few weeks. Still waiting on some furniture to arrive, but I'm happy to have this little pop of spring in here since it is still technically winter in Chicago. Um, also, let me quickly show you what I'm doing with my potting soil for my house plants, just so that I'm storing them in a little bit more aesthetically pleasing than just having a bunch of bags thrown in the corner. 
So I originally had just all of my bags right here. Um, obviously the one I just used, I knew I was gonna use that, so I kept that in the Espoma bag, but I just got this galvanized trash can, which for something that I feel like should be so common, it's always difficult for me to find, but I get them at Home Depot. And this is 10 gallons. And then right inside here, if I can open this up, I have a scoop and the potting soil. Now I will say, when I added my most recent bag, this has gotten a little bit heavier than probably I would want it to be, but for the most part, I can still move it around and it works really well. And I prefer looking at that in the corner than looking at a pile of bags. So that's gonna be everything for today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know if you've been putting together any kind of indoor spring containers or if you are already planting outside. Um, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. And just a quick shot, here's all three pots that I have together. Orgage centerpiece, my new centerpiece, and a bunch of bulbs that I got from Chalet as well that were already planted and pre-sprouted.